Hey, I just wanted to make a quick video about the Blue Eddy AC200P and the cords that come with it and how to get yourself power and power out. So the first thing we'll talk about is how to get power to your power station to charge it. You can see mine's at 95% right now. So in order to get power, I will plug in this Blue Eddy brick from AC Power here, this plug, to this male charging port. And I'll just plug that in right on the side right now. And when I do that, the green light turns on. This thing makes a very loud fan noise. It'll turn red. That means it's charging. And you can see that it's charging here. 467 watts AC power adapter. And soon it'll be at 100%. This thing is very quick. The next way to get power to your power station is to plug in this aviation plug to this port here. Line up that red dot, give it a little click, and you plug in there. Then you'll take this XT90 port and you'll plug that into this XT90 port which will then be hooked up to your MC4 connectors to your solar panels. And the third way to get power to your power station is to take the cigarette lighter adapter, plug that in to whichever 12 volt outlet you have available, and then plug in the MC4 connector to the same connector you used um, to cook up to your solar. So those two will connect together and that is the slowest way to charge your power station. So now let's talk about getting power out of the power station. This is the port that I'm going to use, DC output, 12 volt, 25 amp, and I'm going to put that into this blue C fuse box. Problem I have is that it does not come with the aviation port to XT60. You only need an XT60 because the XT90 is unnecessarily big. So I'll get from Amazon or from the Weddy a aviation mail port to XT90, XT60. I actually ordered some XT90 adapters already. So you can see they come with male and female. So what I'll have to do is get an aviation plug here, connect it to the XT60 or XT90, either one should work, and then plug that in to my Blue C fuse panel. Let's see, you have your positive here and your negative here. And all I did was connect those with ring adapters and a heat gun. And then I'll just plug in and then I'll have power to this guy. And from the fuse panel, I can run all my electronics. For example, I have my fan hooked up here. The colors are backwards on the Max Fan Deluxe. So that's why it looks weird here where you have red and black on the same positive ports, input, output. So you can see that this goes all the way up to the max fan and powers that. Since I don't have that aviation port to XT connector yet, 
what I'm going to do is use this DC output, the 10 amp car cigarette lighter port, and I'll plug that in to the cable that came with the Blue Eddy to the XT90 female over to the fuse box and I'll just plug these two in together. So I've connected those. Now I have power to the fuse box. I have a 15 amp fuse, which is plenty for the max fan. And now the max fan is plugged in and it is working. And last, I'll just show my summary of what's going on here. So I have 95% charge. I have the brick charging at 465 watts. Here's the brick to an extension cord there. I have my cigarette lighter port to the fuse panel to the max fan running that. And what I have now is a Dometic cooler. But since I don't have the 12 volt option yet, like we talked about before, what I'm gonna have to do is run it off my AC outlet. So I'll plug this in and then go AC on. I should have an AC load. It looks like it's working. And then I'll set the temperature on my Dometic cooler and I'll have enough stuff working off my power unit to go on a camping trip. I'm not worried about wiring everything else there. Okay, this is the cable you need. This is the two pin aviation connection for the output from your Blue Eddy to an Anderson connection, to an Anderson connection to an XT60. So the XT60 is a little bit smaller than the XT90, but has the required amperage that you need. This is $20.99 on BlueEddy.com, 12 volt, 25 amp. Right now it's 30% off, so I just ordered that and it has free shipping, so we'll wait for that to come in the mail. I'm not sure why you need this Anderson connection to Anderson connection, um, but we'll see. The other option would be to order this two pin aviation connection and just wire it to ring adapters onto your fuse panel. That would probably be the most direct way to do it. But since this was even a couple dollars more, I chose to order the cable from Blue Eddie.